Welcome back to my lovely IHP community and the 5D Collective. As we wrap up our last quarter, like I was telling you in the past days, we might have a pause, we might not, I don't know. But the nice thing about our wrap up is that we have our healthy adults. And that's where I have the clear capacity to share with you all what a healthy adult is thanks to attachment trauma information thanks to mindfulness and spirituality practices for my lovely mystic journey as well and that's the personal mystic journey but the information that supports me to support our healthy adult crew and group are all the good sciences people because the inner growth mindset is a basic capacity for you to use your brain but the foundation is for you to understand why we have health it's because we know how to use our ventral vagal state or because we know how to recalibrate in it that's where it's all different for every one of you but you have your whole self so you do not suffer life okay so a healthy adult knows how to be a healthy other we know about updated information and how it's important for us to be in the ownership own observe witness narrate your own sense of self and having healthy self-worth makes you a healthy other because you're accountable regulating and you are able to be aware and so your sense of self doesn't depend on others okay we have those other human beings who are not in favor of good therapy they're not in favor of ventral vagal but they are in fact the very textbook uh, example of people who don't know a groovy kind of love we're going to read a little bit of lyrics from the uh, text is a uh, so i heard the song from phil collins but he's not the author of it when you are the lover and beloved of your own self which is what we were discussing in these days okay and that means that you know how to again um believe in yourself to be yourself with integrity to also accept that others are different so if somebody is upset at life let's say so they have the human suffering the human gift with suffering not the human gift with the love you don't have this oh my god why are they sharing it with me okay you you leave it alone it's it's their suffering but you don't have to feel blue because that's exactly why a healthy other is a person who knows how to stay in a physiological state of compassion so you can calibrate and reassure your own self in the absence of other you also don't have this um when people burn out it's because they don't know how to do differentiation and then link and when i'm linking to you and i'm differentiating i'm not affected by your mood you if you want can be affected by mine and you would recalibrate because that's what your body would want the biochemistry wants to be one of ease because ease means it's resting if you fight that you want distress which is where dysregulated people are and that's why the unhealthy others self-select out of the life of the healthy adults adults that are healthy don't have to say to somebody who's Cusco squirrel or uh, Yzma these are the news stories I use it's not a Lucifer there's no monster there's people who can use therapy that's it the ones who don't want it they have their people telling them stories and they like the stories because they don't want the human gift of love they think of the human gift as one of suffering they don't know a groovy kind of love they don't know how to calibrate and in fact they don't own their feminine their body divine open heart open open body um they don't own the way i explain it divine mass in the mind they, they don't own the essence of the jaguar she protects all life and she in fact in the amazon does not ever become prey she brings courage and certainty which is what the 5d body type brings because the 5d body type essentially is simply you and a restorative embodiment self aware accountable regulating and you're choosing to do this because you can and the sciences is why all people have more access to it yoga with sad guru is where sciences of dr daniel siegel bezel van der Kolk, stephen porges peter levine janina fisher uh, pat ogden every single one of the somatopia my entire keep there's so many names that i won't be able to always list all of them but they alongside sad guru make the perfect team we are the ones who get to share it who's we the mindfulness practitioners like myself who work with the sciences people because 
the yoga works because the people are also taking ownership of their self with the therapist like Patrick Tian, not just because of the yoga. No, just yoga doesn't need you to understand in your inner child. Okay, so it's still your free will choice as you will have scouted internet like anybody else and you will have found that which called to you. This is why healthy adults, we call to each other and unhealthy adults will call to each other and they will follow those fancy men and women in suits who want to talk about human suffering. They follow what bleeds leads. They in fact keep their entire frequency in low vibrations on purpose because that's what they are wanting to be in. Uh, according to Robert, no, not really, but they're not choosing the option of what Patrick Tiahan and Dr. Daniel Fox give, which is getting to a good therapist and then pushing yourself a little bit like the little choo choo train that could every time you push yourself a little bit more a little help from my friends oh i get by with a little help from my friends oh i get so unlike the zen master who has laundry the people who are choosing the 5d frequency and the human gift of love they're getting out of all of the uh sob stories and shit shows and that bleed leads because yes we see suffering but you don't have to calibrate in it and there's a very distinctive difference between the frequency of the words of those who are informative in a way of information and those who are creating drama and i can tell personally um, but i also don't follow all of that which is out there because i do not appreciate uh, the outlets they have not done anything that i find exemplary i have trusted sources that i go to and i ask them in fact actually there's an app that i should probably get that one would, would probably benefit me they they sift through the different newspapers that are online so that i could be able to pick the right ones but i also learned from my college years that journalism is no longer journalism so i have a lack of appreciation for you tainting every single picture with a word of embellishment instead of giving me the data furthermore as a political science major i just don't uh, have it in me to say i trust anything from any side because they paint it all so i i'd rather try and again that's just personal side note not even important or relevant to our topics but the trusted sources is who I go to and when they share with me something important I know it's going to be a value because they're not sharing it because they want to bring me into a bad mood they're going to share it with me because they want me to be able and be aware of something that is important and then we get to have a nice conversation about it a sad conversation but a sad one with the when I'm feeling blue, all I have to do is take a look at you. Then I'm not so blue. When you're close to me, I can feel your heartbeat. I can hear you breathing in my ear. Wouldn't you agree? Baby, you and me got a groovy kind of love. Groovy kind of love. Na, 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 na. The song is more important than the words. Just so you know, it's the tune that catches my ears. I'm a feeling and a feeler first. And the words, eventually, if I have to analyze them, I do. And then I can bring to you what a healthy other is versus those who use these songs to stay in their human suffering, which is a sad story because really they have 24 hours. And when I'm feeling blue, all I have to do is take a look at you. Then I'm not so blue when you're close to me. <laughs> so that makes you smile versus those who have drama within their own every inch of them so i feel bad for people who don't choose to learn to calibrate their nervous system because they have 24 hours to breathe and that's just a pity as a mystic i do know i'll be back in the future but they don't necessarily and while they might think it doesn't make a difference i'm gonna say it makes all the difference in the world to learn how to be your ventral vagal state because that's your mammalian heritage and that's where your body is leading you in the first place so whenever the fancy lady and man in suit tell people that health is not the non-reactive they don't know what they're talking about but they're already armored in and shut in their hell hole so i'm just gonna say you're gonna have to choose which one you want to be you want to be human suffering you can go there's plenty of them out there i mean that's what 3d frequency was all about so is 4d the 4d just has fancier stories for it but really it's not any different for 5d we are the essence of the jaguar because courage and certainty don't come because we know everything they come because we can recalibrate in a sense of ease and because we're mammals then we bring 
the vibration and frequency that is of Jesus Christ consciousness and that is unbreakable in the very essence of what a true fight is all about and it's not with fists since we're on one globe and any moron would know that it's a globe and that it's about time to work it out instead of being idiots with the invisible lines that they decided to create. So any smart human being is going to be our globe because we're not fighting because we don't live in ignorance. Anyone who wants to be an ignorant human being and be dysregulated can keep being their disorganized attachment, the ego family. And in fact, they don't know healthy anything. They don't know groovy they don't even know what love is and that's because as patrick tian points out some people have the damaging freedom to never wonder if they're the asshole and anyone who's talking against healthy self-worth is an asshole essentially they're just a type of asshole that we won't need to do much about because their body is full of distress as they continue to think of lame excuses for why not to go and learn how to get their window tolerance expanded and then learn to keep chucking along like the little choo-choo train that could so the human gift is one of being able to be the lover and the beloved and that is where those who are the 5d frequency are at no more self-doubt no more self-sabotage no confusion no you know how to be that groovy kind of love for you and others and that's why the jaguar that spirit she your feminine your man woman don't matter you have a she she is there as your nervous system supports you and when you have gotten into the pattern of the mindfulness spirituality prefrontal workout you're going to notice how it feels good because you're expanding the essence of you every time you do it and once you're at that little tip which is where the 5d collective is at you're now going to begin to roll down but your rolling down is really more like a child you know when we would have snow days and you go on a hill and you <laughs> rolling you have fun even though it's cold right now <laughs> but i mean you know what i'm saying or or just a grassy hill so people who don't want to be in flubber they don't want to be a healthy other they don't want to be regulating they want to use their time and waste it in what is going to be divine discontent so i'm going to read this one to you first and then i'm going to read to you the human gift and then i'm going to close it on up and that's something that uh we don't have to do anything about because again unhealthy others they will self-select out of our lives because they don't want to match the frequency of love they like the frequency of fear they just think it's not fear because they think of the visceral and that which is a survival mode as quote unquote badass because you know they don't know how to taste love yet they just know that one and diego's family and you, you can spot them like a hawk in fact they have a lot of bad taste by the way um but divine discontent winter winter falls upon us so spring can bring new growth cry the tears allow the longing sadness brings surrender and a deep desire to be free that's Rumi. and then so just remember this is where i'm reading it from i know your heart i hear it breaking and groaning in the darkest night when you imagine yourself to be silent and cast adrift in sleep it speaks to me that sacred heart of yours whispering its longing and bemoaning its divine discontent it knows when something is amiss it senses that something is not quite right as yet there is a piece of the puzzle missing even in its tremendous gratitude for all that is and there is much gratitude and sweet appreciation in that precious heart of yours there is a murmuring a quest thing it cries out to heaven vow safe vow safe me a blessing i cannot go on i'm broken and in need of your tenderness for healing i am empty and in need of filling not with stuff and bits but with the most precious nectar of divine fulfillment nothing else will satisfy me please please restore me to wholeness every person's one-year-old wants wholeness the lady that tells you not to achieve this she doesn't know wholeness and that is her choice and that is going to be the choice of others i have the smart attachment trauma educators bountiful who have described to me exactly what it's like for our one-year-old to be securely attached and i can tell you never been broken heart in any way like this but i've heard descriptions of butterflies that make me aware that there are people who have this and then there are those who say i don't want therapy because it doesn't work for me it doesn't work because you didn't stick with it and continue doing it and you're not welcoming to move to earn secure attachment and you're disregarding every step of the way 
that the only way you're going to get there is if you continue working with your mindset, mindfulness, the good therapist, and then you have healthy adults around you who say, okay, I want to be in your mood. I'm going to leave now because, you know, your mood is ruining that mood right now. And I got 24 hours. So the people who are healthy, we are not doing the human. And again, unhealthy others that want to stay in the suffering, they do have a free will choice. That is to see, I continue to suffer. I continue to play a game of in and out, which is one with these battle fists, which is poisonous, which isn't helping me wake up more energized in the morning. I'm avoiding people who are chirpy and happy. You see, because you can tell, I know which people avoid, for example, me, quote unquote. It's not conscious. It's unconscious. You know why? Because a healthy other will allow themselves to work with you in your prefrontal. That's not what the ones who ruminate want. They don't want prefrontal workout. They want somewhere to unload the vomit and that's it. And they're on a wheel. It doesn't affect me at all. But in the years, as I've had a bounty full of Cusco, squirrels, you name it, my relationships, they all expand. They all continue because I'm a feminine, I'm a jaguar, so I'm ventral vagal again, again, again. Your mood isn't going to bring me down. I'm going to feel sad for you, but you're going to say it's fine. So if you're an asshole, you're not a real asshole to me because you're insecure. So I just know how to leave it alone, and I tell you how I work, and I don't back down. I say, this isn't working for me. Get off my back. If I have to, I will become that person. I don't like to when it happens, but I have done it before. And this is, again, an example to say when we have ascension energies, those who suffer, they will go and have an exchange with the ones who suffer alongside with them. There's an active, um, empowering journey they can have, but it's if they want to move out of it. Otherwise, it's just this little cycle that they do. The 3D, 4D aren't going anywhere, but I don't get reached out by those people at all because whenever it has taken place i have been able to say i'm here i'm listening but i'm talking to you and by trying to no i get you to your prefrontal i'm not drama lady so anytime you bring me something my ventral vagal will out outshine quote unquote because your mammalian heritage wants the ventral vagal the body wants ease because it's tired of suffering and that's the part you can't go against your body because it's an intelligence. So if your ego is saying, I want to be in suffering because I prefer this, then I'm not going to be. Your amygdala will not alert you to me the next time you have the desire to be in your karma wheel. Your amygdala is going to alert you to somebody else who's more inclined and it's not conscious. Again, I'm just giving you this example because it is something I know of with my connections. There's plenty of people who don't go to therapy when they want to be in their moods. I'm not the person they call. I'm not the person they write. I'm not the person they want at all. And I didn't do anything. I simply allow myself to share experiences because I'm observer as a feminine. And I know when ascension energies have hit. So in the past days, we've had a buttload of ascension energies. And I have those who have their recurring patterns and they like clockwork, which is also why the fancy lady and man in suit to me are not any big shots. I mean, if only they had self-awareness, they would, they would want to get out of what they are in because they would recognize their donkey little repeat. And again, I don't observe them that closely to notice what they go through. But when I see them, I just think if only they knew. So let me finish reading so we can move on to the uh, lovely human gift and uh, conclude it though with beyond death and beyond life. When you are the lover and beloved, when you are your healthy other, the beauty is, it's like the Billy Joel song, I've been walking in the night for the river, right? So he wants to find that something that he's lost. This, the tune of that song is really fun. And you do find it with good therapy, with your own willpower, with your healthy others. Those of us who say, I'm going to keep you in your prefrontal. You come, we talk, we have a good time. We have healthy and healthy everything. I was thinking about something. I won't, I won't mention that one. <laughs> okay, so as I was reading to you, um, the part that I get here, 
I think I got to, I cannot go on. I'm broken and in need of your tenderness for healing. I am empty and in need of filling, not with stuff and bits, but with the most precious nectar of divine fulfillment. Nothing else will satisfy me. So you get your whole one-year-old. This is a position that can get your ventral vagal state, but having other people is what's ideal because trauma is relational. So once you're with therapy, once you're with healthy others, once you have people who want to live in their prefrontal, you'll know them because they will have you feeling the groovy kind of love, groovy kind of love, na, 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 and you want that. Okay, you don't want the narrative. You don't want to sit in your ruminating. You want to feel relieved. You want the courage and the certainty and the sense of ease and that straight shooter and the emotional uplifter of a person who can support you. And it's not by minimizing that which we see. It's by experiencing it in the lack of the low frequency. That's also what I wanted to again reiterate. Sadness is something you have with another, but it's a sadness that is welcome. It's freeing and liberating. There's a difference. And do remember that I sometimes will say things for my regular viewers. They're never closed up in a box. Anybody who takes something out of context, which is what people do when they're dismantling someone's discourse because they're trying to dismantle it as, uh, again, those who are cowards do. They are cowards because they lack the capacity to take themselves to get healed and whole so that they can play in a playground with all of us together and evaluate with fun. Evaluating with fun is when you chime in and I chime in in an effort to contribute to each other because we can find how and when we're dismantling because we can improve it, we dismantle it with appreciation, respect and care, not with competitiveness, not with a... If there's a specific energetic imprint when someone has low self-esteem, I can barely notice it at this point because they're a child and I'm a feminine and that's how I'm going to have to break it down to you. So I'm in my nature mode immediately. It's like that man who thinks he taught me common courtesy. When he said, am I not decent enough? I was just like, he, 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 shit, what do I do now? <laughs> Inside, I was not laughing at him. I was more like, oh, fuck now I have to put up with this person, you know, but it wasn't, oh my God, he's so rude. There was none of that. There was a giggle of a three-year-old who was like, okay, he caught me. <laughs> it's not about decency though. That's really not nice. I, I never thought one word, that, that word never crossed my mind. I just don't want to be your friend. I, I didn't think any, you know, when someone said, what are you thinking about? Nothing, nothing. The first moment I saw this human being, there is one out of three, him, zero his other person friend okay you seem like you're you know I, this is an italian gesture <laughs> but i'm not yeah so this other person i'm just like nah you're like a kid who needs a lollipop the the other one mm, you're sketchy i don't know what you want i don't know what agenda you have but that's because see this and see i can explain it because this human being it seemed like they caught eye of me and everybody else also thinks this i don't like to make assumptions like that but that's where i don't know so because there might be a potential that he caught an eye of me and no no uh -uh. and the way that he's interacted so and anyways that was a side note but yeah for you see my face i just this other one who said am i not decent enough nothing i'm just not interested in engaging with you and that was the only thing i was thinking about so when people have low self-esteem again they have this uh not wholeness i can bear this missing piece this broken disarray no longer and in fact that human being could use a therapist but they don't want to go i listen and i can hold that wise heart of yours i praise it for its honesty and longing for the longing is an irresistible perfume to the beloved attracting the only salve that will soothe the divine discontent of your truth speaking heart that of divine presence absolute and unquestionable there are sense there is a sense within you perhaps quite obvious to your conscious mind or perhaps only dimly registered as an unnameable underlying sense of anxiety that something in your life is not quite right. It might be the sense, even amongst so much gratitude, of a yearning yet to be met, a longing yet to be fulfilled and satisfied. This is the pain of the awakening heart. The heart is capable of bliss and ecstatic reverence for the sheer beauty and wonder of creation. Yet, as the heart measures, there will be a process of deep, passionate longing that awakens for the divine, and he uses the capital D. 
get a hold of your whole one-year-old, learn how to self-soothe, self-attune, self-regulate, and you will feel no longing. Get earned secure attachment because anyone who has that type of rupture, this divine discontent, get earned secure attachment and then come back around. You will see that you will be able to compare, okay, I don't have that. I've been walking into that, okay? You won't have the tiredness because you will learn how to Others are important for that, though, because you are a mammal. And so people who disregard their human suffering and they just do that, they won't move here. Okay, now the human gift. Okay, so the human gift. Oh, heart, what is your excuse for all these blunders? Such loyalty is offered by the beloved. Yet so much treason comes from you. Such, kinder, such kindness is offered by the beloved. Yet so much defiance and resistance comes from you. Such grace is offered by the beloved, yet so much fault and failure comes from you. Such attraction is offered by the beloved with sweetness and generosity, yet such jealousy comes from you with so much doubt and suspicion. If you remember, Dr. Daniel Fox shares with us, imagine someone being more skeptical, meaning distrusting, mistrusting of a kind person. The lady in the fancy suit and the man did not welcome their first three years of life back and they're not securely attached. That's why they don't want all the good therapists. That's why anybody who has what I just read, that's textbook, a person who has trauma of some sort, shape or form or wound. And as Peter Levine points out, with that broken wing, they're going to head towards the cave, as Patrick Tian points out to their next Stromboli relationship, low self-esteem and direct communication, and they're going to go there. And they didn't go get their inner child seen, soothed, safe, secure, reparented to be their earned secure attachment. And that is why, the, the, for example, the part about jealousy. There's people who fluctuate between happiness and jealousy. They don't ever have a stability because the biochemistry of fear will not get out of you like that avoidant attachment girl woman who says, ah, everyone's fucked up. I'm not going to do mindfulness and journaling and I want to go to therapy because they said I'm doing a good job. She doesn't understand what she's doing because she just says everybody's fucked up instead of continuing to do mindset, mindfulness, journaling, and working to integrate these parts and then working to recalibrate the nervous system when it's dysregulated. And that's why the therapists are important, or that's why also mindfulness practices daily, but it's once you have a window, welcome to motion. So healthy others, we're not going to want to be in the human suffering gift. We're in the human love gift because we are our lover and beloved. We don't resist it. Those who want to resist it, they don't want to be near people who are beyond life and death because we appreciate every day that we were gifted and will be gifted, that's resplendent with grace. That's the heaven in the body. That's the surge on the uprising of love. It's called ventral vagal state. The lady will never know what she's missing out on. You who show the way, you show the way to yourself, all the encompassing hand through the sciences and spirituality that come together to tell you about healthy self-worth, about healthy adults, about how it works to get to that little choo-choo train that could, right? So he kept going until he made it to the other side. And with that being said, let me see. I'm not sure about the organization, but I'll just do it this way and finish reading for you. Do you bemoan your lack of faith? Do you berate yourself? blazing angel because you have moments where you cannot bring yourself to trust in love more than you trust in your fear that fear is the biochemistry of your broken-hearted one three or whatever it is attachment ruptures all of that which is suffering is healable because it's a recalibrating your nervous system to a securely attached is being around healthy again people so the process and the engagement is full of life the ones who don't want it, they're not going to be here tuning in because they want what is the boxing gloves. So even if I make sense, they won't want it to make sense. It'll be gibberish if instead there are people who are aware of this again and the 5D collective. It's just beautiful that they're here because of the good sciences information that is online. When I say sciences, it's the mental health professionals. Do you, again, berate yourself? Okay. 
Do you lament and worry that you could or should be living in greater surrender? And yet, when is light more precious than when it arises from darkness? Okay, well, here's where that's a whole nonsense. If you're in neutrality and duality, light and darkness will be equal. And really, you don't have either because you're a realistic, grounded sense human being for as much as I sound woo-woo. I'm a secondary consciousness person. So I work with my feelings and I work with my thoughts and I recalibrate my, my nervous system when I get upset. That's the equation. It's a straightforward one and I don't have a longing. If you have a longing, it's your one-year-old and three-year-old. It's your mammalian heritage. It's there. You accept it. Again, you activate your ventral vagal. You put in the prefrontal. Otherwise, you're the Zen master with laundry and you find healthy others to have appreciative moments and good times and then you know tomorrow you get to do it again and why because you have secondary human consciousness you give it the why and you can take it away that's what the zen master won't do you are both light and darkness in one and here's where 5d frequency people will not be upset about it they will have a deep knowing that's why you're still here it's not good or bad it is something that Again, I was a kid when I dealt with it. So for me, it's been a long time since I accepted something called, I don't want to die one day, but I will. When is trust more admirable than when it involves an uncertain yet bold leap of faith? Oh, human angel, your path is perfection in the divine sense, not in some artificial absence of struggle. Ah, we don't have to struggle, but but in the wrestling of darkness and light that ignites the fire within your holy heart. So this is why philosophy to me doesn't work. Let me translate. Basically, your secondary consciousness, you giving meaning, knowing there is none, and knowing about dark matter, dark energy. And in the meantime, though, this stays on. Why? Because, I mean, do you have any special people in your life? Do you have any special interest? If you don't have one human being that is special, I'm sad for you. You can join us. Go to good therapy, begin to get regulated, because if you don't even have one person that's special to you in a way of you, groovy kind of love, groovy kind of love, again, we're here for you, the healthy adults, but you want to also go to therapy, because it will mean that you will have had a Diego family or some shit like that, okay? So people are not lonely, you loan some tonight because they're alone. If you have no people that you can turn to and count on in a way of them making you smile, then there's an unfortunate business that has taken place and we can all work together, get you to be uplifted because it's a embodied brain and it's beautiful to be able to explain it. So again, not a challenge, a choice. If you want, you get out of your temporal junction and into your prefrontal. And that's why darkness or light, it's a holy heart or a heart. It's, it's all it makes it more beautiful. Sciences and spirituality coming together. So rise up now from your doubts and admonishments 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 okay i know i'm pronouncing this wrong and let your human self be loved even for all the doubt you are still a cherished one of the great beloved and always shall be and let's remember that you are the lover and the beloved so the first groovy kind of love groovy kind of love na, 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 is you and then you share that with others and our healthy adults bring a groovy kind of love to each other and that's our life love laughter partnerships and that's those who stick around so when you move beyond consciousness you caress the beloved when you move into the unknown beyond everything the beloved caresses you it is not enough to love me i want you to allow me to love you it is not enough to desire me to want to be closer to me i want to reach out to you and grab a hold of you drawing you into me and never letting you be apart from me again there is so much more for us to experience, you and me, than simply gazing, even with love, at each other from a distance. Let me take you into my arms. Let me hold you until we cease to know or care where you and I once were you and I, for instead we will be one. Will you allow it? Will you allow me? Will you allow us to be? O oh, sweet beloved, the divine, the great beloved has a passionate desire for you, to love you, to touch you, to make the divine presence known to you so that you will cease to fear the darkness. They take the light in all of life and become mesmerized by the beauty of love in its endless emanations. And I know my regular viewers, you've heard it enough, but this grounding of a new cycle with compassion and the wholeness is one that you've just began. So 
with that being said also we have people who didn't hear it <laughs> and although i didn't read it as perfectly as i would love to have again it's great to have those of you who are here who have released that fear of earth being unsafe we always have tomorrow means unsafe but we can calibrate in our seven chakras eighth and ninth beyond because you're awakened to all of the parts of the self of you they're whole and that's because you own the sense of self so with self-awareness accountability regulation you have the rest and the trust and the breath and you come together with other healthy adults and we ground in the capacity to be the jaguar the arrow and the water together and use the mind with inner growth not jealousy not envy and use the heart with open-heartedness and give each other hugs and not longing but instead loving that compass is the i see myself i soothe myself i keep myself safe secure to be who i am with integrity and flaws with others and when we have unhealthy others again we keep them in their prefrontal if they want they stick around if they don't they don't they don't bring drama because we don't do the human suffering we do more of the billy joel song the tune of it and we find our way to the ocean together and we do dharma it's because you do i'm aware of myself and other i live a life of meaning and connection beyond the solo self so being you as you are with your child parts all whole and ready to walk the earth with mindfulness living and loving unconditionally a consistent contingent communicator and as you are your own flag and the flag post the wind we get to wave like we just don't care <laughs> and uh, not have confusion doubt or sorrow in a way of suffering but instead we share depth of life and emotions so all of them together in a way of i want to hug because i'm crying i'm sad today something happened i'm really worried i'm really freaked out i have my panic attacks to thank i'm practicing all of this so believe me i even had pure fear not fun no no not at all i'm still working through when those moments happen but i've gotten so practiced that it's easy does it mean i like it no but i know who my healthy adults are if i need a hug <laughs> groovy kind of love and then i know who to stay away from because they actually don't always want to see me smile they sometimes have this thing yes it's called that they're basically upset and so instead of I've, I've, I have so many stories of that one. So I'm going to leave it alone, though. Uh, being a straight shooter, we're our own lover and beloved. I can thank those Oversoul members for helping me to learn to recalibrate when they did what they have done and to be aware of they didn't know because that's what lack of self-awareness means. So thank you for stopping by again. Have a wonderful day and uh, welcome for joining us if you're here. Like, share, and subscribe, and share with other healthy adults so that they can join 5D Mystic Enlightenment and 5D Mindfulness, or just Mindfulness Adults. We'll 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 keep exploring 5D as we move forward. But you you know, 5D means the integrated brain, the restorative embodiment self, aware, accountable, regulating Christ consciousness, because it's all about love, forgiveness, and that's what healthy adults can do. We don't do characterological distinctions or judgments. No casting of stones. And we heal trauma with new stories because we're friends with all people. And again, unhealthy others, they self-select out because they don't want to be happy or fulfilled. They want to, well, they don't want to. As Robert Sapolsky points out, there's determined. But the free will is, here's human love. <laughs> want to come join us, anyone? Uh, to recalibrate yourself, learn how to, you know, not do boxing, but do dancing. Hey, high five, tango. Okay, so thanks again.